Hey everyone, Pinch Punch, first day of the month. It's the 1st of February, 2020. January is gone, but, but yoga continues. Just because yoga January has finished, that doesn't mean that the yoga can stop. We need to keep it up. It's great for our body, it's great for our mind. So let's keep at it. I haven't done what I was gonna try and do today, which is the stretching video. I just didn't get a chance today. I was too busy, had lots of things to do. We're buying, a, we're in the process of buying a new house. We had loads of paperwork to go through today. Got to get that back to the solicitor next week. And had to go into town for a few hours. We, we had, we had things, lots of things to do today. So I'm gonna try and get it done tomorrow. Uh, my other half is, is at work tomorrow. Excuse me, just moving the camera slightly. My other half's at work tomorrow, so I've got the place to myself, but I'm going to try and move some furniture around and get, get a stretching video done. It might not be very long. I don't think it will be very long. Um, but I just want to show you a few things that I do just so you get an idea of, of just how great some of these stretches can be, for, particularly for the legs, for us runners, um, stretching out our hamstrings and getting some nice um, hip stretches and opening those hips and everything so and lots and stuff for calves as well it's 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 um there's some good stuff in there but not neglecting the upper body and the core so there's plenty plenty to show you one of the things that we were doing today actually was trying on glasses because uh my my other half's after a new pair of glasses frames and actually so am i uh and, and the main reason why i'm after a pair of a new pair of glasses is you i won't be able to show you this i can't that is as much as the arms on these glasses now bend in. In fact, a, a little while ago, these were completely solid. And the reason is because I kept dropping these on the floor and both the arms actually came off, not at the same time. I think the uh, left one came off first and then a couple of weeks later, the right arm came off and they actually sheared. There's little metal um, posts in these that, that kind of go into the arms and they both sheared off. Um, so I couldn't, effectively I broke my glasses, they're the only, that's not true, I have got another pair of glasses but they're a slightly older prescription so I could have put another pair on, I just wouldn't have been able to see quite as well. But I, I ended up super gluing the arms on and they were absolutely rigid on these and, and, I, and the reason why they're moving ever so slightly now is because the, the glue is actually just separated on them but they're still completely stuck on. I'm not going to test that and try and pull one off because I'll probably pull it off. Um, but yeah, so I want some new, I can still see through them absolutely fine, but I want some new frames. And today I tried on something that I really, really have been wanting to try on for ages. And it was a, a pair of frames that are completely clear. So they're those completely see-through ones, the whole, the whole thing, not just, not just this part with, that holds the uh, lenses together, but the arms as well. Um, I'll try, I, I, I might actually, I, I'm saying this because I haven't decided yet, it might be that the, um, that the thumbnail for this is a picture of me with a pair of them on, but I'll see if I can, I don't know how to do it yet, I'll see if I can pop in a, a, a picture or a still or two of me wearing them, because I took a couple of selfies of me and these things. Um, Wendy, my other half, was saying they made, she thought they made me look Scandinavian, which, is, um, which amused me. And I thought, oh, I'll just change my name to Sven, and then then they'll they'll that'll be that that'll be that. Um, but yeah, I like them. I got a, I think they might have been Oakleys. I'm trying. I'm struggling to remember the brand. It was in Boots in um, Carlisle. Um, they might have been Oakleys. I'm not not entirely sure. But then we did go in Vision Express, and they had a pair of. They definitely had a pair of Oakleys. But actually, only the only this part, the main kind of body, if you like, of the glasses were clear. And the arms were, um, I think they were metallic. And being Oakleys, they didn't bend around the ear. They were just completely long and straight and, and kind of hooking and stick to the side of your head. Um, but yeah, interesting glasses. There was a couple of other, other pairs that I've tried on that, that I quite like. So I might get more than one. I have got my eye on a brand called Walter and Herbert. Uh, because there's an opticians in Brampton, which is where we're looking to move to, hopefully in the next few months, which is a little village, a nice little um, conservation area village, just um, 10 miles out of Carlisle, uh, to the east of Carlisle, on the way heading across the country, as if you're going towards Newcastle. And there's a little opticians there, and they've got some glasses in there by a brand, Walter and Herbert, and I quite like it because A, they looked nice, and B, I've got a cat called Herbert, so I thought, oh, cool. Um, 
And they do pairs that are completely clear, and I quite fancy it. And what, what made me want to get try a pair was uh, watching Rich Roll and his podcast, because he, I don't know if he wears them all the time, but he's got um, glasses that are completely clear. And I just think they look kind of, kind of smart, really. So, um, and no one else I know wears them. And I quite like being individual, which is one of the reasons why I like wearing little bits of, of colour, because most, like I've said this before, most men, particularly in the UK, walk around all the time in black, grey, navy blue. I know I'm wearing like dark clothing as well, but I like having little pops of colour and so on. Um, I've got, look, I've got, look, my socks, are, <laughs> I've got red socks on. So, because it makes you stand out, it's, it's something different. And I, and I just like, um, I guess I like being a little bit of a peacock, I guess. I just like standing out a little bit. So I am very introverted actually, believe it or not. Well, believe it or not, you don't know me, but, um, but I, I do have that little, I've got a little streak in me that likes to go, Woo, you know, and stand out a bit. So, um, yeah, be careful going, Woo, uh, but, <laughs> but yeah, so interesting glasses. I quite like them. That it'll be completely, you know, there'll, there'll be no one else that I know or work with that, that have got clear glasses. I might start a trend at work, who knows. Um, but actually it brings me on to another little subject, which is, which is partly what this video will be about, is that as a runner, um, wearing glasses actually can be a bit of a hindrance. So any runners out there that wear glasses will absolutely know what I'm talking about. So when the weather is crap, so it's it's um, freezing cold and you get hot, your glasses steam up. Result, you can't see where you're going. So you end up having to take them off, trying to rub them and so on, um, or waiting for them to waiting for for them to demist. You can buy um, coatings for glasses that stop them that stop them misting up. But my uh, experience of that is that after a while, that stops working. So um, great for a bit, but then it stops working. Um, when it's wet, they get covered in rain, and you you kind of wish you had little windscreen wipers on them to to get the the rain off because you get to a point where you can't see where you're going again. Um, when it's really hot, you get another problem. Um, they slip off your face. So you'll, you'll find that your glasses start traveling down your nose and you have to keep pushing them up. And then they, the hotter you get and sweatier you get, the more, more frequent they start traveling down your face. One solution to that is to wear a hat because actually that actually keeps, trucks kind of keeps them held onto your head because you've got something else as well as them wrapping around your ear, you've got something else holding them on. It doesn't It's not fantastic, but it does help. I also find this helps when I'm doing yoga, if, particularly if I'm doing uh, positions like downward facing dog, so you kind of, your head is pop facing down. If I've got a hat on, my glasses are fine. If I take my hat off, my glasses kind of eventually kind of dangle and then they'll fall off. Um, and because, look, lovely top of my head there, um, because, of what's happened to the arms on these, I'm always I'm always very nervous about my glasses falling off now and falling on the floor. Um, so I used to wear contact lenses, and actually, what I'm thinking about doing is getting is getting when the, as the as the, the the days get longer and it gets brighter and warmer, of actually getting a couple of things. So one, um, if I get some, particularly if I get some Oakley glasses. Um, you can get them with little rubber, I guess you can get this on a lot of some other glasses, but you can get them with little rubber ends um, on the ends of the arms and also in, in, the, no, in the nose bridge. Um, and that will help them stick onto your face. Um, I'm thinking about getting some contact lenses. So, and, and there's another reason for that is because I want to get myself some Oakley sunglasses for when the weather is a lot brighter to protect my eyes and so I can actually see better when it's when it's like glaring and bright sun. I did think, because you can get prescription sunglasses, so you can get, particularly with, well, with all of them, but with Oakley's you can get prescription um, lenses in your sunglasses. So my initial thought was, great, get some, get some Oakley's with those road lenses that are prescription. Um, the downside of that is, of course, great when you're outside, but what happens when you walk inside suddenly you're that person who's got, you're wearing sunglasses indoors, and particularly if they're, you know, coloured lenses, it just looks a bit 
nah, frankly, you're that you're that person who's wearing sunglasses indoors all of a sudden, you know. Um, I could wear, I could carry another pair of glasses with me, but then it's 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 you know that's another thing to carry. So I'm thinking, well, why not just wear contact lenses on those days when I want to go out running with my sunglasses? Just pop a pair of contact lenses in, disposable ones. Go out, wear my wear my sunnies, and then if I go indoors or when I finish, I'll just take my sunglasses off, and I can still see. So, um, and and you don't have to tie yourself in to a regular monthly payment with opticians anymore. If you just need, hypothetically, if you just needed, you know, 30 pairs of, of contact lenses or 20 pairs of contact lenses or 10 pairs of contact lenses, you can just buy them, um, use them whenever you need to. And, and if they run out and you need more, you just go back and buy some more. You know, you buy another 10 or 20 or 30, whatever you want. So um, you don't have to tie yourself into a, a regular monthly subscription, which is what you used to have to do years ago when I when I wore contact lenses before. So even if you didn't use them, you still you were still paying for these things, and you just ended up with a great big pile of of contact lenses in the cupboard that you you weren't using. So um, I quite like wearing glasses now. I've got used to it. I've been wearing them uh, again for a few years. I think I'm trying to think how many years. It's quite a few years, um, four or five years, something like that. I did it to give my eyes a rest because I wore contact lenses for like 20 or 20 years or something. So I wanted to give my eyes a rest. I quite like the facial furniture. It's a bit like it's a bit like this stuff on my face. I quite like you know having something extra um, on my face, I guess. So <laughs> at least it's not a tattoo, I suppose. Um, so yeah, first world problems and first world first world you know short sighted runner problems i guess isn't it it's um, the struggle is real so but yeah runners runners out there or even any sports person out there who wears glasses will know exactly what i mean when it's like they steam up they get water on them they fall off you can't see anything um they slide off your face so it it is a genuine problem um and you know there are potential solutions out there but um, I guess another potential solution is getting laser eye surgery, um, but that's you know a bit more drastic. But uh, but yeah. So anyway, just thought I'd have a little discussion about uh, about the old eyewear. I'm going to go because it's getting late in the day. I've still got a little bit of yoga that I want to do today, and I will catch you tomorrow and hopefully do a stretching video. Um, so tune in for that if you're interested. Hope you're having a great day. If you're going out running yourself, as always, be safe. Watch out for cars, particularly if you're wearing the old uh, specs. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.